Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about NPTEL problem solving through programming in C week 10 programming assignments. The due date for this assignment is 6-10-2022. First program, write a C program to find the root of the equation using bisection method for different values of allowable error of the root. f of x is equal to 2x cube minus 3x minus 5. So this is maximum number of iterations can be initialized with 10 and uh, iterations can be initialized with 0. Both variables can be initialized as integers. Next one, x, variable x can be declared as floating point variable and a, b, x1 and uh, all error variables can be declared as floating point variables. A variable can be initialized with 1.0. B variable can be initialized with 2.0. So, ALL ERR variable can be read from the keyboard by using scanf function. Next one, we can call the calling function called bisection. It can take four parameters. So, variable address of variable x can be passed a b and address of iterations variable can be also passed to the bisection function okay now whenever the bisection function is called the control goes to the uh, bisection function so here x is equal to a plus b by 2 and incrementing the uh, ITR value. So, these two statements are within the bisection function. Next one. So, this is the uh, logic of uh, bisection uh, method. Okay. Now, so save as draft and click on the compile and run button. So, see this one, compilation passed, public test cases 2 by 2 passed. Test case 1, input value is 0 0.01, expected output root is equal to 1.71997, actual output is root is equal to 1.7197. Both actual output is equal to the expected output, status is passed. Test case 2, input value is given as 0 0.01, expected output is root is equal to 1.7266 slash n, actual output is root is equal to 1.7266 slash n, both actual output is equal to the expected output, so status is passed. Okay, then we have to submit. So, after submitting, so, test case 1 is passed. Okay. Then, you can go for the second program. Write a C program to find the root of the equation using Newton-Rapson method. The equation is f of x is equal to x cube minus 2x minus 3. The maximum number of steps are taken as input. Here in the main function, maximum number of iterations and ITR variables can be declared as integer variable. X0 can x naught variable can be declared as floating point variable that can be initialized with 1.0. X1 variable can also be declared as floating point variable. Maximum iterations can be read from the keyboard by using scanf function and this is the simple logic for finding out the uh, root of a newton raphson method. So, save as a draft. Click on compile and run button. 
so see this one compilation passed public test cases 2 by 2 passed text case 1 input value is 2 expected output is root is equal to 3.465754 actual output is root is equal to 3.465754 both actual output is equal to the expected output status is passed for test case 2 input value is 5 root is equal to 1.908690 actual output is root is equal to 1.908690 both actual output is equal to the expected output status is passed then so click on the submit button so see this one so test case 1 is passed test case 2 is also passed now we can go for the third program write a c program to sort a given array using pointer in ascending order in the main function an integer array can be declared with the array size is 100 i and n variables can be declared as integer variable variable n can be read from the keyboard by using scanf function here available array size is 100 and the required array size can be read from the keyboard by using scanf function that required size of the array is stored in variable n next one so n number of elements can be read from the keyboard by using for loop and scanf function next one so j and t variables can be declared as integer variables next for i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. Next, for j equal to i plus 1, j less than n, j plus plus. Here, uh, adjacent elements are uh, compared. So, j and i elements in the array can be compared using uh, pointers. So, this is the swapping logic. Okay. If the two elements are not in sorted order, they are swapping by using this logic otherwise they are not swapped after uh, swapping of all the elements if they are not in sorted order so they can sort them so after that we have to print the elements of the array okay now click on save as a draft and click on compile and run button so see this one Compilation passed, public test cases one by one is also passed. Test case one, input value. So array size is five. The five array elements are 20, 40, 50, 30, 10. Expected output is, so we are printing that uh, five array elements in reverse order. First 10 is printed, next uh, 20 is printed, next one 30 is printed, next one 40 is printed. Our next one 50 is printed actual output is 10 20 30 40 or 50 both expected output and actual output are equal then we can say that status is passed okay now click on submit button so here test case 1 is passed in this program so the same logic uh, without using pointers but by using pointers also we can sort the elements of the array okay next next we can go for fourth program write a c program to check if a 3 by 3 matrix is invertible if the if the matrix is invertible then we have to find the inverse of a matrix otherwise we do not find out the uh, inverse of a matrix. A matrix is not invertible if its determinant is 0. First, uh, we can take an integer array with row size is 3 and column size is 3. It is a two-dimensional matrix. i and j variables can be declared as integer variable. Next, we have to declare an variable called determinant its a data type is long next one these uh, nine elements are read from the keyboard by using scanf function two for loops and scanf function we have to read the nine array elements next one 
for i equal to 0 i less than 3 i plus plus for j equal to 0 j less than 3 j plus plus here we have to check the determinant value if the determinant value is equal to is equal to 0 we can say that the given matrix is not invertible if this uh, determinant value is not equal to 0 then go to the else part print the given matrix is invertible okay so here we have to find out the determinant value so once we are finding out the determinant value if it is a 0 if its value is 0 we can say that the matrix is not invertible so if the determinant value is not equal to 0 we can say that the given matrix is invertible okay now so click on uh, save as a draft and click on compile and run button so see this one so compilation passed public test cases 2 by 2 is passed test case 1 input value is uh, 9 array elements so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay here expected output is the given matrix is not invertible actual output is the given matrix is not invertible both actual output is equal to the expected output so status is passed in the test case 2 the 9 array elements are 105 216 340 so expected output is the given matrix is not invertible and actual output is also the given matrix is not invertible so both actual output and expected output both are equal then we can say that status is passed now we have to click on the submit button so see this one test case 1 is passed test case 2 is also passed so friends uh, please see the comment box for this video i am writing the code for all the uh, programs four programs of uh, week uh, 10 programming assignment and also one more link is there so week 10 uh, quiz assignment or uh, quiz answers uh, in separate link so both are there in the comment box please visit the comment box for this video so i hope all of you understanding this video so if you really like this video click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates if you really like this video please subscribe my youtube channel divela srinivasarao after subscribing my youtube channel so click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel so the Bella Srinivas route. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.